All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh Bahasham, which means in the name, Ba in Ha the Sham name. All right. Yahawashai, okay, which that's the name of the only begotten son. All right. The head, all right. Bahasham in the name, Rahodash which is spirit holy or the holy spirit all right so all praise on and glory to yahweh bashim yahweh shah bahasham rachachodash all right double honors unto my elder apostles and the elder bishops at great millstone all right peace and blessings unto the hundred and forty four thousand elect men the governing body of the nation of israel all right uh as well as the one third all right of the remnant the elect Okay, of the nation of Israel, all right, which consists of men, women, and children. Okay, this is the brother Atazaria from the GMS Houston camp. Okay, and I'm gonna get right into this, man. It ain't, it's uh, you know, as they say, um, just playing that same record over and over, it's just the same song being played over and over. Okay, um. Which we're going to keep singing that song till we get out of here, okay? And this is prophecy, all right? Which is what we're supposed to be focusing on, man. Prophecy, okay? As a matter of fact, let me get a scripture before I start. Let's go to the book of Revelation, all right? Chapter 19. Let me get there. All right, so lock in. Okay, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 19 and 10. It says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. Okay, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of the brethren that have the testimony of our Lord and Savior, okay, whose name is Yahawashai. His name means he deliverer, okay, or he savior. Because that's what he's coming back to do, to save the remnant of the children of Israel, okay? Um, the same, all right? And this is whom the world ignorantly called Jesus, all right? His name is Yahweh Shai. It says, that have the testimony of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, worship the Heavenly Father. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, so we're supposed to be in the spirit of prophecy, man, meaning what the Lord said is going to happen. Bring it out. Okay, before it happens. Okay, so we're telling this is a prophecy that's going to come to pass. Okay, and what else could it be? What else could it be, man? With all the evidence that's out now, okay, you know, to those that can't receive it. All right, because. Those that are spiritual that the Heavenly Father is dealing with, they can see it just as plain as I'm looking at this window. Okay, as, as plain as I can see the shrubs in front of this window. Okay. But to those that are not spiritual or that the Heavenly Father is not dealing with, okay, what else could it be, man, with all the overwhelming evidence? All right. Now let me read a few of these articles. All right. And this is from uh www.medscape.com all right <clears throat> this is from october 25th 2004 okay so we see how long ago this was all right now let me read it, it says approval of the verichip as a class 2 medical device on october 13th now peep the the date october 13th there's no, that's not a coincidence, okay? The number 13, they use the number 13, okay? And then we know what October is synonymous with, okay? Ghouls and goblins, okay? Wickedness, all right? It says, on October 13, allowed immediate marketing subject to FDA specified controls to reduce potential risk by identifying performance and safety testing and by appropriate labeling okay now let's get some more let's go here 
All right, and this this is this is recent. Okay, this is like uh, maybe about a week ago. Um, I've been wanting to get to this lesson, but um, you know the apostle records down here, so you know we have to tend to the apostle. You know, and you know we have to tend to the apostle. All right, that's our duty. You know, that's like um, our our father. You know, coming into town. Okay. Ah uh, well, he's our spiritual father, one of our spiritual fathers. Okay. All right. So the so now you know the Lord has me to where I'm able. Well, not able, but you know I have the time to get it in now. So this is uh from Time Investors. Okay, which is a um a channel on Instagram. Okay. That's to lock you. <clears throat> okay. It says time investors. It says ID, wallet, keys, all in your hand. Sweden moves into the future, okay, with C hipping. All right. And we already see what it is. Okay. Okay. And again, the question which is posed with all this overwhelming evidence, what else could it possibly be? You see? It, it, okay. What uh, let's let's just say, for the sake of argument, okay, which we know this is what it is. I'm just saying, we'll explain this in the scriptures. Okay. What is this? What is you know? Because this is a big deal. Okay, and it's growing in popularity. So, ex explain this scripturally. Okay. Without using Revelation uh, 13. Okay. Okay. It says um, the trend of sea hipping. All right. Implants in Sweden is rapidly growing. You know, that's one of those European countries and they, you know, want to we, we stay in ahead. We, you know, we want to be the future. We want to stay up to date, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, but uh, it's pushed hard there. All right. It says the trend of micro C hipping implants in Sweden is rapidly growing as thousands of people adopt this new way of life. You see, it's a new way of life. Moving into the future, the Jetsons, this is the way way of the future. This is the way we're going. OK, and if you don't come with us. You're going to get left out. And that's the sentiment. OK. And that's what's pushed heavily on people. You know. You know. You got to keep up with the, what's going on. You got to keep up with the trends. You know. You know. When in actuality. This is spoken about in the scriptures. Revelation 13 and 16. OK. And for those that receive this. OK. This karagma. All right. This M to the A to the A to the uh, R to the K. Okay. They'll be destroyed. Okay. So we see, what does it say? That this is rapidly growing as thousands of people adopt this new way of life. And you know how people are. They always want something new. The new, the new, the new. I need the new. It, you see, what, uh, I'll give you an example. Cellular phones. Okay, especially the iPhone. Oh, I gotta get the eight. Shit. Well, the nine finna come out. Well, shit. I gotta get the nine. I, well, I'll get the eight and then I'll get the nine. Then I'll get the whatever the hell they got next. You know? And then you look at it in all actuality. What's the difference between that one and the old? Let me see. A name, a different number. And if you don't have it, you don't have that particular status. You see, this is going to be a status thing. Oh, shit, I got this much of my, on my, on my karagma. You see, let's get another one. I'm going to just switch, go to this. All right, let me see. It says the trend of the micro C hip implants in Sweden is rapidly growing as thousands of people adopt this new way of life. Since their introduction in 2015, these tiny rice sized implants have gained significant popularity. The bio C hips 
provide a convenient alternative to carrying keys, credit cards, and train tickets. Wow, what a convenience. I don't have to worry about my stinking keys. Where do I leave my keys? Oh, there they go. Well, I can get rid of these. I don't need my keys no more. Oh, I don't need, I need all these damn credit cards. I'm filling up my wallet. Ah, I'm so sick of all these damn credit cards. Okay, well, yeah, I'll get this. No, I'll use this one. Oh, I don't have to use credit cards anymore? I can get rid of all this plastic? Oh, put that over there with the keys. You see? Oh, train tickets. You know, because like in European countries, that's a, a significant form of uh, transit. Okay, you take the train, you know. And then, you know, that'll help with the climate also, you know, because there's a climate crisis. Blah, blah, blah. And people are eating this shit up, man. You okay? One of the people that's, well, one of the groups that's big eating it up and will big eat it up, eat it up big, is you so-called black women, man. You okay? Because y'all still gone, man. Y'all gonna be gone, man. The most undesirable. Okay? And it's, let me say this. If the shoe fits wear, if it don't apply to you, then pff, just be like, con and let it go. You see? And I talk to different people, okay? And that group in my humble opinion, is the worst as far as, you know, following these trends and keeping up with the Joneses and all that BS, okay? It says, um, with a simple insertion beneath the skin, individuals can effortlessly access their daily necessities without any effort. Wow. What a convenience in a convenient society, in a microwave society. What a convenience because the people of the world today, especially here in Babylon the Great, have no patience. They can't wait. Just like that song, I, I, I can't wait. I think that's New Shoes, N-U-S-H-O-O-Z, New Shoes. I can't wait. These people can't wait, man. They have no patience, okay? And I would always uh, bring up that quote that, that is this sister that had a quote. She says, um, with a, 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 a society, a convenient society has spawned a, generations, a generation of impatient people. They can't wait for nothing, okay? I remember one guy... Uh, as a matter of fact, I think it was a rapper. He's dead now. His name was uh, Mr. 3-2. And he quoted Confucius. He said, Confucius said that uh, one of the proverbs of Confucius, you know, which it, it makes perfect sense. In the proverb went, um, patience is a must. Okay. But he kind of put a twist on it. And he was like, so if you miss the first bus, Say you waiting on the bus or you go to catch the bus. You missed the first bus. What should you do? Should you just, okay, let's say you're going to work. Let me give it to you. All right. Say you're going to work. Okay. And you're going to catch the bus and you miss your bus. Do you just say to hell with it? I'm going home. I ain't, man, that's it. Forget it. I'm going home. I ain't finna sit here another 25 minutes waiting for no next bus. Then what happens? You lose your job. Quite possibly you'll lose your job. You lose a whole day's pay at the least. Okay. Why? Because you didn't exercise patience. Patience means suffering. And these people in Babylon the Great, they don't want to suffer shit. Okay. They don't want to have to exercise patience. So if you miss the first bus, wait on the next one. That way the consequences won't be as bad. Okay, one four four right there. Call on me, I'll buy Shamel Shah. Okay, <laughs> on the little watermark. All right, um, let me read some more. 
you know, I'll get the scripture and close and, and you know, <laughs> we, we, you know, the record skips, the record skips, you know, we just keep playing it. Hey, that's that, that's that broken record, man. All right. It says with a simple insertion beneath the skin, individuals can effortlessly access their daily necessities, the things that you need on a daily basis, effortlessly. Oh, that just sounds so great, doesn't it? While concerns about surveillance and privacy breaches exist, well, people have already given up their privacy. Every time you download an app, do you agree you use fucking 12 paragraphs of, 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 of whatever? Yeah, can we access your photos and use your voice and blah, 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 blah. And people just, they don't read none of that stuff, man, because they want to use the app. So they just agree. The majority of the time, not even knowing what they're agreeing to. So privacy has been gone. These phones are listening to us. These are no more than spy devices. You okay? And at the same time, there are also devices that the men of the Lord use to push this word okay um while concerns about surveillance and prophecy breaches exist approximately 30,000 citizens have willingly embraced the micro c hip implants recognizing the advantages they offer while being mindful of potential drawbacks okay when these top celebrities, okay, your Drakes, your, 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 your The Weekends, your Miley Cyruses, or whoever, or Taylor Swift, I'm trying to think of the top artists, you know, as far as music. And then you got your, your, your sports, okay, your, 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 uh, your athletes, okay, when, when you're LeBron James and your Steph Curry, even, Good old, sweet, wholesome Steph Curry. You think he want to lose all we got? Okay. As cool as he is. When these celebrities, hey man, it's the new thing to do. Hey, you got yours? Yeah, I got mine, man. Yeah. Hey, oh, universal basic income. And they'll hook you up with some money. You ain't got to go to China. You got to go to work, my nigga. I got that thing in my hand, my nigga. Pay my rent. Shit, think about getting me a car, dog. Shit. You see? Especially you give Jake something free and Jake ain't got shit. It, niggas off a sale for cheap. Okay? You can get a nigga cheap. Much cheaper than back in slavery. Shit, being a possible. You know, we watching Django. Them slaves was costing a pretty penny. Okay? <laughs> you can buy a nigga for $20. Or, or, or three piece at Popeyes, man. Okay? Now let me get the scripture. And we'll close on this. The spirits say the same. Revelation 13. And 16. And this is what Revelation 3 and 10 is talking about. The hour of temptation. Okay, which is going to come upon the whole world to, to try to, they, it's, I'll get it. Matter of fact, let me get that first. Let me get that first. Let me go to Revelation 3 and 10 so I don't butcher it. This is red letter, Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. There's that word again, patience, suffering. Oh, effortlessly access their daily necessities. Isn't that terrific? With a capital T. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. See? And we're going to need the Lord to keep us, man. Okay? Because it's not going to be anything. Oh, shit, man. I ain't taking that shit. Shit. Quam yasha No. No, it's not going to work like that. It's going to take the spirit of the Lord to be on the elect to deny that thing up until death, if needs be, okay? 
the Lord is going to have to put a special, or he's going to put a special spirit on his elect, okay, to deny that thing until the end, okay, and when it comes down to, I can't go get nothing to eat, I can't buy, I can't sell, I can't do this, I'm out of the loop, I can't get no cell phone, oh, cell phone, boy, people can't use their phone, can't get their phone, they go nuts, People lose their minds behind these cell phones, man. I've left my phone at home numbers of times. It was just like, mm, well, fuck it. <laughs> I grew up that we didn't have cell phones. We had rotary fucking dial phones, man. You know? If somebody did have a uh, car phone, it was in a limousine. I remember my grandfather had car phones in all his limos, you know? That's the only time I ever had ever seen a car phone. Okay, and this was back in the, the early 80s. Okay. Um, so people will lose their mind behind that damn phone, man, because they're attached to it. They're attached to this world. And they don't want to be disconnected. So they're gonna do what it takes to stay connected, all right, to this system. Okay, hence the mark of the beast. Okay, let me do that so the screen on time out. All right, let me read it, Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay, this is right around the corner and the stage is set for it, man. The stage is set. Everything is in place. Just waiting on something, man. You got all of these people coming across into the borders, into and it, it's single men from all over the fucking place, man. It ain't just you know so-called Mexicans, you know, or, or so-called uh, South Americans coming across the border. You got Iranians in there. You got Chinese in there. All right, we already seen what they've been doing, finding police stations here in the states. Chinese police stations, fucking spy balloons, all kind of little shit, just to kind of put it out there. It's coming. See? So we just waiting on something to, to kick it off to where this thing is fully implemented, man. Okay? And it won't be long. Hence why we keep pushing this. Okay? Give them warning from me. We're, we, we're doing our job. All right, through the power and the spirit of how about Shimmy Al Shai? Now, let me get Revelation 13 and then uh, we'll close. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Look up the word mark. Just go to the Strongs. What does the word mark mean in Revelation 13 and 16? Check it out. We're not making this up. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might bow or sell, save he that had the mark. You see? That's the temptation. I can't eat, can't buy, can't sell. In a consumer society. Yeah. Okay? Shit, I can't get in the party. I can't do this. You can't, you ain't gonna be able to do shit. All right? Unless you want to the elect, because the Lord said his servants shall eat. Okay? It says, uh, Revelation 13 and 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? Again, there's the warning. The elect will take heed. And with that, it's on to the next one. Until then, I say Shalom.